Sacramento police are testing a new device that they say will help set the standard for drugged drivers. Marijuana and more. KCRA 3's Richard Sharp is live to explain how the test works. Richard? Yeah, we're at a DUI checkpoint here on Meadowview Road. One person, they believe, has already tested positive for driving under the influence. They're testing others right now. They'll be hauled off to jail, and when they get there, they'll be asked to test out a device that can also test whether they're high on drugs. Whether they follow the law or not, almost everybody knows the legal limit for alcohol, a .08 blood alcohol content. But what about drivers that are impaired from drugs? Currently in California, there are no standard levels, you know, like we all know for 08 for alcohol, for any of the drug categories. And so when it comes time to prosecute folks, um, it's difficult uh, without having that, that bright white line that says this is the point where they are definitely impaired. With money from the feds, the Office of Traffic Safety, this is the actual machine that will do the testing. The Sacramento police are the testing a new device. device. Uh, a person would swab this around their mouth, collect saliva in the end. That will be able to tell if someone is actually high on drugs instead of just yeah. testing whether they have it in their system. It's not a, a level of the drug present, but a level that shows that the active metabolites of that drug are in the system of the person that we're testing. This testing could have big ramifications for marijuana users. As more states look at legalizing it for recreational use, Governments are looking at ways to set a legal limit for drivers. The results from this machine will be able to help set those standards. And it doesn't just test for marijuana. Right now, currently, there's really not too many drugs that don't pop up. And typically, all of the common drugs that we would see, uh, a lot of the prescription drugs, a lot of the illegal narcotics, uh, marijuana, are all going to show up on these tests. Now, the new drugged driver testing devices have been tested in the field at DUI checkpoints like this one. They now have them at the jail because they can test more people. It's not just drivers who are found here. Anyone arrested in a vehicle, when they are arrested, will be asked if they want to participate in this test. Live on